<laughs> All right, guys, so some of you may be getting this bait this week. This is the back attack. That's what I'm calling it. And the reason it's called that is because it has the baka or baka tail from the bait designed for Lake Bacharach. And it has a tech, like a redesigned taquito front. So basically, there's a weedless paddle tail bait to be used with a 10 aught owner beast hook. I'm sure there's other hooks that fit also, but that's what it's designed around. So I'm going to tell you a couple of features of this bait, and then I'm going to show you how to rig it up. And then I'll probably throw some catch footage on the end of this because I, I was out testing this bait and uh, it's got a very good hookup ratio for a weedless bait. That's when I design a weedless bait, that's the goal. The goal is to, uh, you know, get as many fish in the boat, on the bank, whatever, as I can because weedless baits notoriously just don't have as good of a hookup ratio. So when I set out to design a weedless bait, that's my number one goal. So I'm going to show you a couple of features. You can see it has the silicone eyes like the original burrito shad had these years ago and uh you know i kind of switched over to the glue on eyes because they kind of are more natural looking but for a weedless bait like this dragging the bait through the weeds over and over again those eyes you know the weeds catch on the eyes and pull them off so i thought you know what for this bait i'm going back to the to the silicone eyes and you might notice that it has this fin on the bottom like what is that all about so this this tail has quite a bit of lift the baka tail so this actually digs in and pulls the tail the back end of the bait down a little bit so the bait runs level uh and also it allows you to use a weedless or sorry weightless beast hook in it and it'll fish just below the surface without those fins it comes up a little too much so that's why i put that on there also it kind of acts like a kickstand that kind of helps keep the bait up if you're if you're fishing on the bottom or something like that so it's kind of a dual purpose dual function uh appendage on this bait that's what that is i'm going to call that the kickstand um so i'm going to show you guys how to rig this thing up this is the 10 aught beast hook weighted this is a half ounce weighted you can use a three quarter ounce weighted you can use the weightless hook if you want now with the weightless hook you got to make sure you you rig it perfectly in the center otherwise it probably won't swim quite straight but uh the half ounce is the one i've been using and it works great um, there's probably other hooks on the market like the nine aught trocar that might fit in here too but this is what it was designed around so if you look at the bait down the center there's actually a seam okay so that's how you know how to center it this way but then you might say well how do i center it on the other axis so what I do is I kind of go where the eyes are, right in the center, in between the eyes, kind of in the middle of this rounded part. That's where you want to start your, your hook. And with a beast hook, you know, it has the screw eye. There is a starting point, right? This little part off of the spring. And what you want to do is you want to set the hook here and you want to make sure that you start that spring where it touches the bait naturally. You don't want to like start like this and then when you get done turning and getting the hook straight you got this much spring sticking out or you had to go an extra half turn and then the bait scrunched up you want to start it in a natural spot okay so i'm going to demonstrate that here i'm going to take my glasses off because i'm an old man and i can't see this anymore so i'm going to put this in the center of the bait and i actually start it just a little bit you can see i'm just a little bit I'm not quite where the hook's going to end up, but I'm just a little bit short of that. And I do that so that I got a little bit of a tight, snug fit. And I start that screw eye in. And silicone's a little tougher than like um, a plastisol bait. So you got to, because they're more durable. So you got to kind of work it in there a little bit more. But you want to make sure that screw is going in there straight. And, you, and when you get done, it should be snugged up against it just like that. You know, I don't have an extra bunch of screw sticking out. It's not pushed in too far because I started it in the right position. And this one's pretty much perfect down the center, as you can see. So that's where you want. That's what you want. And then this actually has a redesigned hook slot. It's slightly different than the, the original Taquito. So what I do, and it'll hold the hook a little bit better than the other one too, because it's got a little more meat in here. So I turn the bait inside out. And you'll see there's a pocket. There's a pocket in the bait. Get my face out of the way so it'll zoom in on that. There's a pocket in there and you want to stick the hook in that pocket. 
in the very back. A lot of people, I see people don't do this right, like the face is stretched out and because they didn't hit that pocket. You want to make sure you get that pocket, otherwise the face is going to get stretched out. And then you want to pull the hook up through the center right under this fin, close to the bottom of this trench that's on the top. And that's it. So this, this bait is perfectly rigged, right? And you'll notice that this hook, the silicone kind of hugs the contour of that hook. And I did that so that there's another another thing that'll kind of help keep the hook in place a little bit. More material in here will help keep the hook in place, but I, I have a 100% hookup ratio on this bait so far. Um, and I've hooked fish, you know, 40, 50 yards out with fluorocarbon and had no problem getting a hook in them. So it's got a very, very good hookup ratio for a weedless bait because there's a little bit of a gap here. I always make sure there's somewhat of a gap there. I don't really like the weight being up too close to the bait because that silicone will hinder the hookup. So as you can see, there's just enough material there that that hook pops out real easy. And yeah, it's got a great hookup ratio. So this bait skips really well, this bait swims really good and the hookup ratio is really great. So I'm gonna put a couple of catches on the end of this video so that you can kind of see this bait in action. I haven't really caught anything big on it yet because I've really only kind of, you know, I tested it out on a couple of ponds that I fish and it was the summer. So, but hopefully the, this fall or next spring, uh, people will be getting some big ones on this one. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for, you know, purchasing this bait. I really appreciate everybody's support and I hope it gets you some good fish. Good. All right, there we go. That's the cast. Seriously, how did I not get a bite? There it is. <laughs> oh yeah, not a big one, but hey, we'll count it. First one on the weedless bait. There's one. <laughs> Oh, that chunky one, huh? Barely got that hook, man. On that new weedless bait. This water comes up, they'll sit in there. Dang, this dude's been chewing, huh? Look at that thing. Bait out there. I'm just using a heavy flipping stick. Um, this is a Kistler heavy flipping stick. It works great for soft baits, like weedless baits and stuff. There's another one. Jeez. Two casts in a row. Not too bad. <laughs> when that water goes up, man. Yep, I got one. Oh, wow. 
Uh, it's it's a bass. Oh, is it a bass? Yeah, it's a bass. Oh, 